Hello, this is Anthony Ward and welcome to this short tip for 3D World magazine. What we're going to focus on today is how to quickly UV a basic head model in Maya. So here we have a head model. It's not perfect, but it'll do for the purposes of this tutorial. If we open up the UV texture editor and take a look, we can see Currently, the UVs are a complete mess. They're unworkable. You, you just would not be able to use them at all. So what we need to do is apply a basic set of UVs just to give us a good starting point, And then we can unfold those and work on those further uh, as we progress. So as I say, let's uh, first apply a basic set of UVs. We will just go to create UVs, play in our map. And I'm just going to project this down the z-axis, which will uh, project from the front. Click apply. And as we can see, this has given us a good set of UVs to start off with. What we need to do now, because there's lots of overlap in here, if I just quickly turn on the toggle shaded UV display, this will highlight for us the blue areas are the UVs which are fine. And these pink and purple areas indicate areas which are overlapping or which are inverted. We can also check the UV layout by applying a texture. So if I go to um, assign favorite material and just create a Lambert and then we point that to a file, our checker map like so, I'll just turn off viewport 2.0 and have basic rendering so from the front if I just also upscale that from the front she looks fine but then as we get round to the side we have the UVs well I say UVs you can see the texture is stretched and as we get round to the back it's inverted so again that is unusable so we need to fix that but what we do have is a good set of UVs to start us off. So what we need to do first, I'll just turn off hardware texturing so we can focus on what we're doing. Just going to select the UVs going around the middle of the model. And as you can see, I'm just selecting one and then double clicking and that will select the edge loop. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these UVs which will allow us to open up the back of the head and fold it outwards. So we need to keep the UVs at the front stitched together. So I'm just going to deselect those, go back to our UV editor, turn that off for now, and go to Polygon, Cut UV Edges. So that's just cut the UVs down the back, which will, like I say, which will allow us to open it up. What we need to do now is select the UVs down the front again. And now this time we're going to dictate that we want the UVs that we have deselected to be pinned. So by what we need to do first is select the UVs and then we'll invert that selection. So I will just deselect these from the edges something like that should do and then I'm going to go to select convert selection to UVs so as you can see there we've just selected the UVs down the front I'll make sure I've got UV selected in here and then I'm just going to hold shift and invert that selection so as we can see we haven't got these selected at the, down at the front any longer. Now I'm going to right click on my unfold options and I'm going to set the unfold constraints to none and I'm just going to pin the unselected UVs. So fingers crossed when I click apply as you can see this has unfolded the back the UVs at the back of the head and pulled them out meaning I turn on hardware texturing as well, just close that down, you can see 
Using our grid, we can see that the numbers are the right way around, so we know that they're not inverted. So we know that the UVs are laid out correctly. And again, if I turn on our toggle shaded UV mode, we can see they're all blue, so there's nothing overlapping and causing problems. What we do have, however, is issues around the eyes and the mouth and the nostrils. Now these are because there's hole in the geometry. I'll just turn off the shaded mode again. This is because there's a hole in this geometry. So when Maya is unfolding the UVs, it doesn't really know what to, uh, what to do with these holes. So we end up with errors like this. But we can easily fix that. What I'll do is I'll hide those eyes. And I'm just going to go in and fill these holes in. So I select an edge around the boundary of the hole. And I'm just going to go to Mesh, Fill Hole. That fills that in. Again, press G this time rather than go to the menu. And that will fill that hole in. Now I'm going to go to the inside of the model. If it's easier to see, turn off hardware texturing for now. So I'll select a border around the mouth, press G. Or in fact, fill the hole, there we go. And then we'll do the nostrils too. While we're here, press G to fill that hole, G to fill that hole. So we filled those holes in. And what Maya will have done is it will have applied UVs to these, just spanning the UVs around the edge of the head. We go back into our UV editor, and this time we're going to select the UVs, open up our unfold options, and I'm going to pin the border. So that will pin everything, uh, everything around the UV shell, so it will only affect the UVs in the middle. I just zoom in on this so we can see the face. I'll just move this off while I click apply. And you see that has fixed the issues with the eyes and with the mouth and with the nostrils. Just by filling those holes in, it allows Maya, um, when it relaxes the UVs and unfolds them, it gives it geometry inside here to know where its uh, constraints and restrictions are. So if we turn back on our hardware texturing, so as we can see, we've got a nice UV layout for the head. We just need to delete those holes because that's geometry we added and we no longer need. And that has just given us a very basic and a very quick way of unfolding um, the UVs for a head in Maya. Now there are lots of other tools out there, but this is just demonstrating if you've got Maya, you haven't got any of these other tools at your disposal. Maya's quite capable of unfolding a head model or any other model quite easily. Um, and its UV tools are quite nice, so uh, don't be afraid to give them a go. But now we have this UV layout, and with this texture applied, we can see that the grid is smaller here than it is up here. Now that could be a problem because it means this area has got more texture detail than this area up here. So now you've got this laid out, you can then go in and you can uh, adjust these UVs here using the smudge tool or perhaps a UV lattice tool just to pull those in. So for example, if we wanted to pull the neck up, I just select the UVs at the bottom click on the UV lattice tool and then we can pull these up like so which is spreading out the UVs down here uh, but it's also distorting them as well so this will take a bit of playing around with like I say just pull those around but you get the general idea there we're sort of moving off topic and getting into more UV editing rather than uh, just getting our UVs uh, done. So that's uh, that's that quick tip, just how to uh, apply a basic set of UVs to a head model and unwrap them ready to tweak and, uh, and play around with. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed that tip 
this is Anthony Ward and uh, you can find more tutorials of mine online. You can also find me in 3D World magazine and also uh, Digital Tutors.